Good day guys and welcome to another one from Cebu here in the Philippines. Today we just rented a motorbike at Cebu Rental Motorbike Service. They provided us with a bike to head out and discover the island. We're gonna do a big road trip on this bike heading towards Karkar and more ball next. So I'm just gonna put my helmet on, jump on the bike and ready to go. It feels fantastic being on the road again and thrilling at the same time. Back into Asian traffic. We have about 40k to go, about one hour to our first stop in Car Car, where we find apparently the best lechon in all of Cebu. Made it. First stop. It's car car. About 40k from Cebu City. And took us about an hour, an hour and a half to get here. And apparently, welcome to Paras Native Lechon. Thank you so much. Apparently, this is the best lechon place in all of Cebu. Is that correct? Paras. Yes. So we made it to the uh, right spot. All right, halfway through, and let's get some food in. So as you can see, we've got the lechon. How much? What are the options? One fourth. One fourth. Two hundred. One fourth. Two hundred. How much for half? Four. Four. Is there something else I should try? Yes. Yeah. We have exotic foods over there. We have pakasi. Side dish. All right. Let me see. Yes, sir. We have uh, pork intestines. Oh wow! Pork intestines. That looks good. What else do we have? We have a squid, uh, seashells, bakasi, uh, eels. 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 All right. Bakasi. What is very typical for Cebu or Kakar? Lechon, sir. So just the lechon is very yes. typical for here? Lechon and this one. Uh, papaya... Papaya salad? Pickle. Pa pickle papaya? Yes. All right. Good for partner for the lechon. Okay, let's get a little bit of everything then. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. All right, we're definitely going to have lechon. One half or one fourth? I go with half, please. If I cannot finish, I can take away, right? Yes. Amazing. I see regular. You want the meaty part? <laughs> the what? Meaty part. Meaty and... Like and the bones and the ribs. I like a bit of everything, yes. I like the fatty bits. And... Spices are regular. Spicy, please. Spicy. And some crispy skin as well. Okay. Say? You can also take away the one who chop your lecture. Take away? Yes. If I don't, if I don't finish. <laughs> oh, so mean. <laughs> He said that. <laughs> All right. What else are we have some pork for, blood. For the side. Pork blood. Pork, pork, pork blood? Yes. I never had it before. Is it good? Yes. Let me? Okay. Uh, I will try pork? I will try some pork blood as well. Oh, it's the consistency. Oh, wow. That's enough. Not too much. Not too much. Um, the picket papaya? One? Yes, I think one, yeah. Yes, some rice. Puso. How much should I take? Uh, you think three? Sir, here's your lechon. Awesome. Thank you so much. Salamat. If you're a rice eater, you can take three. 
Like, I'll take uh, two for now. Two. Two, for now. two is okay. Welcome to my door. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my door. And ben and ben. I would like to try this as well, the eel. Eel. Yes. Eel. What was the name? Uh, Bakasi. Bakasi. Yes. Amazing. Do you have uh, drinks as well? Hello. All right, that, that looks all so good, especially the lechon. I can't wait to try. Uh, do you have Coke Zero? Yeah, I'll take Coke Zero, please. Thank you. All right, guys, look at this. Wow. And the rest is coming. Amazing. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, brother. All right, let's sit down, get ready and dig in. All right, everyone, we are now sitting down. We have our food. We're here at Paros uh, Lechon in Kar Kar. And look at this. This is our food. We ordered a lot. So we've got a eel soup. Our famous lechon look at the crackling it looks amazing nice and fatty a pork blood soup i haven't tried that before this is all new for me some pickled papaya to go with the lechon and of course rice we just set up the camera There must be so much work to wrap them all up. It's crazy and it's done so beautifully and neat. Okay. Let's get into the glove. It's not that easy, my hands are so sticky. It's pretty hot again today. And the drive was very sweaty, very sweaty. I had the big backpack on my back and had to be cautious all the time. It was very busy on the streets. All right, let's dig in. What should we start with? I think wait with the lechon, get the best in the end. All right, so firstly, I will try the pork blood soup. It's very thick and you've got bits in there. Reminds me a little bit of liver. All right, let's go for it. Mm. Oh, that's so good. <clears throat> that's very good. It's nice and salty. Mm. Doesn't taste at all like you would imagine. Not, not a slight hint of iron or a bloody taste. It has a slight hint of liver to it. But otherwise it's very rich, flavorful and and fresh as well. It has a fresh flavor. It's nice. Mm. Mm. To be honest, I wouldn't have expected this. I wouldn't have expected this one to be very nice. Oh, wow. Let's try the next dish. That is our dish with the small eel. Not too sure if it's gonna have any any bones. Mm. 
and it's the whole thing. Look, you've got the... Oh, shit. Can you see? I've got the small head on here. Okay, that is a little bit harder to eat as some parts still got quite a lot of bones. So you have to nibble your way around the bones. I'm not too sure if you're supposed to, to just eat them, to just bite, chew through them. But I don't think that's the way, because the bones are quite tough. The soup itself is very tasty. The eel is not my favorite, but the soup itself is very nice. Good. Very good. Thank you. What's your order? Lechon, the eel, and pork blood. That is really good. I like it. With the eel, do you eat the bones as well? Do you eat the bone? <laughs> All right, now to the best part. We have the lechon. You've got the meat. Look at this. Very soft and fatty and crispy, crispy thin layer of crackling. We ordered the spicy version with some chili on top again. Perfect amount of saltiness. Mm. The meat full of juice. As soon as you have a bite on it, the juice just comes out. All right, let's give the crackling a go. Mm. It's a 10 out of 10. And they told me that the pickled papayas go nice and well with the lechon. I'm making a mess here. The sourness of the pickles, of the pickled papaya goes very well with the pork meat and especially when you have the chili on top. Look at this. We finished the whole lot guys. No takeaway left. Alright, let's go ahead and pay. Miss, how much do I need to pay? Wait, sir. Wait. I'll be waiting. Six ten. Six hundred and ten. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Salamat po. Can we take a picture, sir? Of course we can take a picture. Over you. <laughs> Let me just. Same sum. Same sum. Yes. 
Thank you so much. Enjoy. Thank you guys. Have a good day. Guys, nice and full. We continue our way to more wall. We have another hour 17 according to Google Maps. So another 53k before we hit our first hostel. Sleeping in a hostel for the next three days. Yeah, first time in a dorm on my travels. Let's see how that goes. It's been a while. Wow. Look how beautiful it is in here. Very, very beautiful. I love that. It. It's so nice to drive through. I'm very happy that I decided for the scooter instead of taking the bus. The bus would have been very cheap. I think it's like 130 to 160 pesos for either air con or a non air con bus ride. But you get to see a lot of beautiful things on the scooter and you can stop. You can make stops wherever you want, which gives you a lot of freedom. I love that. It has been dry for ages and of course the day that we chose to rent a scooter and go for a long ride the rain is coming in as you can see it looks good over there but a little bit darker here and it actually starts to rain so I decided to take a little stop at this beautiful viewpoint here look at this guys isn't that amazing and then you've got this old mansion here I don't know if it used to be a house or some commercial thing let's go and have a look hello guys how are you look at this you've got the terrace out here Overlooking the ocean. It's so sad that it's all wrecked down. It would have been such a good place. first time us in the Philippines coming to a more paradise area and even though the weather is not that good at the moment it looks fabulous so amazing We've got guy the guy on the stand-up pedal board down there and all those different colors of water all right let's wait for a little bit clear up so we can continue our journey okay it took us almost two hours and 40 minutes 50 minutes to get here my bum is flat but the bike carried us all the way and it was really nice some good landscapes and uh, yeah it was a beautiful ride so let's go and check in Hi, how you doing? Hey, I'm good. Good to meet you. I'm gonna do the check-in. Yeah. Do you have a booking? Yes, sir. Under what name? Sammy Hamad. Sammy. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice little outside area. That used to be a, a swimming pool. Uh, it will be in the future. It will be in the future. Yeah. Nice. Up on the top, all right. Awesome, thank you so much, Simon. No problem. Cool.
right oh this is what you get in a hostel for 12 bucks a bunk bed i'm unfortunately in the top bunk i uh, prefer the bottom bunk but the good thing is you meet some people here making some new friends and this one comes with its own toilet and shower which is pretty neat so you don't have to run too far in the middle of the night all right let's refresh and see what the day has to offer all right guys just hopped off the tricycle to come to the white beach to end the day with a nice sense, uh, sunset thank you so much for watching and i'll see you tomorrow